Hello everyone, welcome to Research Hub. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to train a machine learning model using Teachable Machine. This tool, Teachable Machine, is developed by Google and it really helps you to train a machine learning model very simply within a few seconds. So if you search in Google Teachable Machine, this is what you will get. So let's go there. So this is what you can see on the website. You don't even actually have to log in here to do anything. So you can just start uh, modeling. You can click here. You have some options here. You can create a new project. Uh, you can open a project from Drive. You can also open a project file. And here you have some training videos, okay? So at the moment, they allow you to do three types of projects, one with image, one with audio, and another with pose. I'm going to now show you how to do a project with image. And similarly, you can do the same for audio and pose. And here are the options when you want to open an existing project from your drive or from your file. So I will go to image project here. You have two options. I will just go with the standard option here. And here, in image, so basically we are developing a classification training model, okay? So here we have to upload our different classes of images, okay? So here you can upload data from your webcam. So you can I can actually turn on my webcam and take pictures of me or something else. So I can put data from there. I can also upload data that I have saved in my PC. And I can have as many classes as I would like. For this purpose, I have collected some data and saved them in my PC, okay? So I've collected some data of container ship, different container ships. So I have six images of container ships. I have six images of cruise ships. I have yeah, seven images of kayaks. And I have six images of speedboats. So my plan is that I will use for each of them five images to train the model and the sixth one to test the model, okay? So let's have a look how it looks like. So I go back to my Teachable Machine. Here I'm going to select Upload. I will select Choose File so I could drag and drop, but I will just choose it. So I will first take the container ship one. And I take from one to five. The sixth one, I'm not uploading. It will be tested, okay? Open, five image samples loaded. Next one, I come here again. I select now from cruise ship one to cruise ship five. Load it again. I'm going to add a new class, upload. Then I'm going to select kayak one to five. We can have multiple number of images in each of these classes, but for now I'm using five of them all the time, okay? And we have one more class for that we are going to load the images of one to five images from Speedboard. So I click the first one, then I press shift on my keyboard. And I select the number five. That's how we get all of them selected. And I just open them, okay? So now we are done. Now we can just train the model. You can see the tutorial here, but you can just play the train model, okay? Here they also have some ad advanced options for tuning the models, but here you can see it's training the model, okay? and the model has been trained, okay? So now, yeah, it, 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 it wants to see my, it wants to see my camera, so I will allow it. Actually, you will see what it does when I allow it, okay? So now you see my input is on, you can turn it off. When your input is off, then it's not going to really do anything. Uh, so you have to turn off input to make prediction. Your model is trained based on this trained model, you can export the train model, but before we export it, so we will test the model, right? So to test the model, you need to turn on the input. And here you turn on your webcam and here it's not sure actually what kind of uh, class is this, okay? So it's it's confused. It's trying to say 50% uh, class one, 50% class two. So when you have situations like this, that means it doesn't know when there is no clear indication of any particular class, that means it cannot identify it, okay? You can see the image from my webcam. Uh, it's, yeah, it's really not something related to any of these classes. 
but I will go and choose file. Okay. So after choosing file, I can upload files from my uh, Google Drive or from my computer. So I, I pick this one. Here, let's say I first pick the Speedboard 6. You see the prediction is class four with 99% confidence, right? And actually our class four was Speedboards. Now let's say if I load another one, let's say I load now Kayak 6, it gives me classification of three. Okay, so that means it's the uh, class of classification, right? Uh, it, it's the three is the class of kayak, so it's kayak. So that's how your model can make predictions. But just for fun, you know, I just thought, okay, what if I give something totally different than any of these four classes? So I actually saved two more images. So one is a Husky. I'm uh, kind of interested in uh, Siberian Husky these days. So I took a picture of Husky. <laughs> that's the tricky part. So it's predicting it as class three for kayak, okay? With 77% accuracy, and it thinks it should be 13% of class four. So that means there is some issue. I mean, with the images that we trained, similar images, it was predicting very well, but with a different image, our predictions are weird. It was 50-50 in two different classes, then we could say that it's not predicting anything properly but it's predicting 77% that it should be kayak. So that's totally crazy. Um, and then if I try another one, let's say Land Cruiser, the 2024 Land Cruiser, that's something also I'm interested very much these days. So let's load it. Yeah, now you see it's not clearly indicating any of the particular classes. So all of them are below 50%, okay. So that means it's not predicting anything. It's just trying to say that, no, this is none of these of the classes that we trained on. So for this, it works, but for the Siberian Husky, it didn't work. So most likely we have to put much more training samples for each of the classes. You know, We only used five, five data, five images for each of the classes. We should maybe use 1000 images. And then maybe we will really get a much more robust training model, but it's not so bad. At least it's not classifying the car as a cruise ship or a container ship, right? So it works somehow uh, pretty okay. So if you're satisfied with the model normally, then you can actually export it. Again, there are several options, Ten TensorFlow JS, TensorFlow, TensorFlow Lite. So you can actually uh, download the models and you can actually use them for building apps and putting them in website, it's websites, okay? So let's say if I just download the model, yeah, this is the JavaScript, right? Our, and here is also uh, the scripts. So you can, you can download the one that is suitable for you to put this model in a website or in an app. So my, my, my model is now downloaded. So that's how actually you can run a cool machine learning model uh, using Teachable Machine within like few minutes and it actually works, okay? So give a try with pause and audios and uh, let us know in comments how it worked for you. Good luck.